Welcome, guys. Another episode of Dad Talks. I'm one of your co-hosts. I'm super excited for you guys to be here. Today's topic, your kid gets punched in the face at school. What do you do? As always, with all Dad Talks videos, uh, we're just providing our opinion based on our life experiences. By no means are we suggesting this is the only way to do this. We just want you to get kind of get your mind thinking. If this happens, you'd be prepared. Now, there are four things that can be done. Now, as a kid, I was always taught, if somebody hits me, hit them back. And that's, that's option number one. You're in a fight at school. Somebody punches you. You punches your kid in the throat, punches you in the face. Always, that's your first option. Hit back. Start a fight. Now, as a dad, internally, we're probably thinking, hey, yeah, who won the fight? Did you win, bud? Did you kick his butt? Did you fight him back? But is that always the right option? Number two is talk it out. Find out why the person wants to fight you. Let me paint the picture. You're at the locker talking to this pretty girl. Come to find out uh, her boyfriend's also watching. He's like, yo, man, what you doing? Why are you talking to my girl? What's happening? Let's do this. Let's fight. And you say, no, 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 Joe, Joe. Wait, man, I'm just asking Susan for a homework assignment. I'm not, man, I'm not, I don't want no beef. Now, see, it was a misunderstanding. He might be a hothead that just wants to fight, but you spoke up and said, hey, I'm just asking your girl for a homework. I'm not trying to get with her or any kind of thing like that. I just need her homework assignment. So find out what it is, what's going on before you start the rumble. Your third option is to get school officials on board, a teacher, a principal, maybe going to a conference. Let's say the same scenario as previously, the guy wants to fight Holler at a teacher, holler at a principal and say, hey, look, uh, Mr. So-and-so, John wants to fight me. I think it's a misunderstanding. Can you help me mediate this? You know, that, that's not a bad idea in terms of you're weighing all your options. You're going to get a principal, a teacher on board. And in most cases, a disagreement or and maybe the guy's just a jerk and always wants to fight. Number four, do nothing. And let's be honest. Um, eventually, you're going to have to stand up to your fear. This person that's picking on you, it could be a, an isolated incident. It could be ongoing that happens all the time. Either way, you're going to have to stand up for yourself. It might not be today. It might be in the future. But you will have to find the courage. And in most cases, you'll feel better. You might not win the fight. You might get beat up. The guy or, or lady may, more, may be more skilled than you. But either way... You're going to feel good about yourself in terms of, I took this abuse. I've weighed all the other options, as previously stated. I have to stand up for myself to make this person stop hurting me. Or another scenario, you, just may, you may need to fight just because it's self-defense. In closing, for me, I, I like the idea of trying to talk it out. Because a lot of times, people are fighting because of a misunderstanding. I can remember as a kid, I was in a local pool hall, um, and this guy, he just we was shooting pool, and, he, and his comment was, hey, man, we can take this outside. It's like, man, look, it's a misunderstanding. Whatever whatever you think's happened is not. Let's talk this out. We can make it work. It, it happened that he never wanted to fight. He was one of these guys that liked to fight. So me talking it out worked, and the lady that owned the the little pool hall that I, I shot pool at, she was like, hey, man, Hassan, that was awesome what you did trying to talk it out because, you know, I, I really appreciate that as a business owner. So for you, you have to decide what's the best avenue as a parent. Maybe you're not a parent and you're a kid watching this video. Either way, I would say none of these are the right way. But for me, for me teaching my children, I believe if we can talk this out most of the time, it's a going to be a misunderstanding. Either way, thanks for joining us today. We really, truly appreciate you. Subscribe now. More great videos from me and Travis on the way.